two NFL player props here on prize picks for Sunday, December 17th. And I'm actually going to give a third bonus play here uh, for this slate. So a total of three NFL player props, uh, two main plays here, and then a bonus play, a third play specifically. But again, I'm going to be playing this these three plays in a three-man power. I don't recommend usually playing three-man powers, but I wanted to give three plays because there are three plays that I do like. Um, and I definitely think one of these plays is going to bump. That's why I'm giving three plays. But nonetheless, three NFL player props that I do like for the Sunday, December 17th slate. Before I get started, you guys, take a look in the description below. Hop into our premium Discord, $9.30 per month. It's uh, where I post all the plays I'm making on price picks. We also have other premium cappers in there as well. They post all their plays, research, and analysis overall in there. It's a super positive community. Everyone just trying to help each other cash. I also want to mention I'm not a gambling expert, and this is not financial advice. These are simply the plays I'm personally looking at making, hopefully giving you guys some insight and analysis to then make your own player prop decisions here. Again, no one's pressing submit on those parlays other than yourselves. But let's get right into it. Three NFL player props Sunday, December 17th. We're getting towards the dog days of the NFL season. Uh, a lot of teams vying for the playoffs and things like that, but let's get right into this. So the first play is going to be Bijan Robinson over 14 and a half rushing attempts. Uh, we've seen just Bijan Robinson's usage continue to trend up, and the Falcons looking to make the playoffs, right? They're like tied with the Saints for that um, division lead. Um, we've seen 22, 16, 18, and 10 rushing attempts. Obviously, Tampa Bay is just a pass funnel defense, so and they were playing from behind in that one. They didn't really need to run the ball too much, um, but I love Bijan. John Robinson in this matchup versus the Carolina Panthers. First of all, we take a look here at this matchup. This is a road game for the Falcons. Usually teams like to depend a little bit more on the road, uh, on the ground, uh, on the road. But Carolina, this game is going to be horrible, horrible weather, which is why I like the kind of run game here. It's going to rain buckets in this game all game long. Plus, we've got winds around 15 miles per hour with gusts around 25 miles per hour. The wind plus rain combo makes it for a very ugly game overall. Um, I think it's just they're going to run the ball. The Falcons love to run the ball. I think they're the most run-heavy team in the NFL. And Bichon Robinson, 15 carries here, seems like a strong bet, right? We're seeing his usage continue to grow. Um, and that's the, really the most effective way to to uh, beat the beat the Panthers is on the ground, right? We look at the Panthers, the fifth most yards per carry in the NFL on the season, and they're actually giving up the uh, fifth most total rushing yards to running backs. We look at running backs game long this season versus the Panthers, we can see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine different running backs have hit the over on this 14 and a half rushing yards line. Uh, Tyler Adrier of the Falcons, the, I guess essentially RB2 with the Falcons, had 15 carries earlier in the season, actually the first game of the year, when they were slowly trying to implement Beecher Robinson and a combined Falcons. Uh, running backs had 25 carries, Algier and uh, Bijan Robinson combined. Now, obviously, the usage has changed and had a significant uptick for Bijan Robinson here. With the weather, uh, with the matchup, I just I love this play here. I definitely think, given the odds, uh, Bijan Robinson currently over on the Caesars is minus 145 to go over 14 and a half rushing attempts. Uh, I definitely think this line could bump up to 15. That's why I'm giving it as the first play here. Um, Bijan Robinson over 14 and a half rushing attempts. I think with the weather being so, so bad, Panthers rush defense is absolutely horrible. Bijan Robinson, 15 carries is the first play. Not going to overthink this one. Second play here uh, is going to be Puka Nakua over 67 and a half receiving yards. Uh, for Puka, a variety of reasons why I like this play here. Obviously, he hasn't seen less than seven targets. Um, I believe in like every game this season. Yeah, like he's literally had seven targets in every game this season. Now, Cooper Cup's back. Cooper Cup is healthy. We took Cooper Cup last Sunday and he cashed for us here. Going back to another Rams wide receiver. But even with Cup, like Puka Nakua game log this season with Cooper Cup has still seen seven plus targets in every single game and is over this line in, in five of nine games this season. So it's not like Cooper Cup taking a ton of usage and volume away from Puka Nakua still seeing seven targets. Um, but just this matchup is too, too elite, you guys. Um, like, I mean, this matchup's super elite. Like, if, if we can refresh this page here, I guess this page isn't going to load for me specifically. I guess we'll go back to this one. We look at wide receivers. Um, the, they have a, the commander is giving up the most receiving yards to wide receivers on the season. And just even over the last eight weeks, just getting absolutely dominated by wide receivers. Commanders here, third most total receiving yards to wide receivers. This is a home game as well. Um, we look at Puka Nakua this season at home. Over this line in five of six games at home, I think Matt Stafford's going to just absolutely dominate these boys uh, with the Commanders. Look at receivers versus the Commanders game log this season. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten different wide receivers have smashed the over 70 plus receiving yards. We know Matt Stafford with time in the pocket. The Commanders don't get to the quarterback. Stafford has time in the pocket. He's absolutely just throwing darts all over the field. This line just too low. I think we can see definitely Cooper Cup and, and uh, Puka Nakua both get close to 100 yards in this game. And also something that's interesting as well, just a little narrative. Nakua, Puka is at 100 and, 113 
1,113 receiving yards on the season. And look how close he is to breaking that rookie receiving yards record. So I definitely think Matt Stafford, the Rams kind of know this. Um, and they're going to be looking to feed Puka. I think this is the most, the best matchup that, that he's going to have all season long at home on the turf. No weather should not be a factor in this one. I think this is a smash play. Uh, Nakua over 67 and a half receiving yards. And then the third play here, um, because I do believe some of these plays are going to bump. Uh, I like Jerome Ford over 14 and a half receiving yards here. Um, against the Chicago Bears. So we look at Jerome Ford. Um, he's just continuing to run a ton of routes, right? Look at these routes, 25, 21, 36, 18, and 25 routes run over his last five weeks. And in those last five weeks has seen five, seven, three, and six targets, specifically with Joe Flacco, you guys. Over the last two weeks with Joe Flacco at quarterback, who loves to check down the running backs historically in his career, six targets, five catches, 31 yards, three targets, three catches for 33 yards for Jerome Ford. Now this matchup, uh, Chicago and Cleveland is going to be a weather one as well it's supposed to rain all game long um winds up to 25 20 miles per hour as well so i definitely think ton of check downs to running backs we know the bears have been super susceptible to receiving yards to running backs the most receiving yards to running backs on the season and that's continued just even over the last eight weeks as well um running backs receiving yards to the bears second most in the nfl we've seen so so many look how many running backs have cleared the over on this line versus the bears this season as far as receiving yards like you can go all the way down here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, uh, 16, 17, 18, 19 different running backs have hit the over on this low, low line. I just think it's a smash spot. We look at Jerome Ford over on Outlier. Again, this is Outlier. There's a link in the description. You get a seven-day free trial. He's minus 130 to go over two and a half receptions, and you can see the matchup 28th uh, worst uh defense versus the running back position overall minus 120 over 14 and a half receiving yards i just think with the amount of routes he's running with the check down merchant at joe F at joe flacco at quarterback i love the over on jerome ford so here are the three plays for this youtube video uh Bijan robinson over 14 and a half rush attempts buka nakul over 67 and a half receiving yards and jerome ford over 14 and a half receiving yards let me know in the comments below how you feel about these two plays here drop a like hit that subscribe button and as always let's cash